What's going on YouTube? Like Kanye the Great here with another edited video for you guys. All you Titans out there. Before I forget, make sure you guys hit the like button, sub button, join button, and notifications all in the way so you never miss a single live stream or video like this. We do live stream every single day. Alright guys, so this one is a night build. Big shout out to my buddy Onion Knight. Made a very similar build to this. I'm loading into a strike right now, so I'm not right back up. Um and maybe getting some footage of showing this build off in this strike. But anyways, I chose to go with the Agar Scepter, okay? We're rocking a little bit of stasis with our Void. And then we got the new Funnel Web, a 900 per round a minute SMG, a subsistence and range finder. So as you guys can see down here, we're rocking Radiant Light. Down here, we're rocking Volatile Flow. Right, this one's important because it's going to give you volatile rounds anytime you pick up a well. Right now, over here we have well of tenacity mixed with thermoshock plating. Right, and we've of course specced it to high strength and high discipline. Right over here we have grenade kickstart, but we can obviously take that out for champion box. On our helmet we have elemental ordinance so we're going to drop a well every time we throw a grenade and get a kill here we have the melee well maker so every time we throw our melee we're going to get a well maker we're also rocking part of inmost light which gives us our ability energy back much faster i'll read this to you uh using an ability grenade melee or barricade empowers the other two abilities empowered means abilities have faster regen Melees and grenades do more damage, and barricades have no hit points. So very OP in uh, PvE content, even PvP content. Now, with the wells, it's even better, guys, because again, this volatile flow, when you do get the wells picked up, you saw what this funnel web can do with subsistence rangefinder of uh, 900 rounds per minute it eats away at anything in its way explodes and then we combine that with these aspects right here i'm using controlled demolition hitting a target with void ability or volatile explosion makes them volatile further damage to volatile targets causes them to explode grants you and nearby how allies health when volatile targets explode near you so we're making everything explode and getting your team healed over here we have Bastion, uh, cast uh, your super to grant overshield to nearby allies. Um, casting your barricade grants overshield to yourself and nearby allies and empowers it, enabling it to slowly regenerate the overshield of allies, bunkering behind it and extend their overshield duration. Very OP. Um, and over here, the reason I'm rocking Ward of Dawn is because it has a much faster cooldown on the super, which again, the catalyst of my aggro scepter uh whenever i do get that super we can you know hard push down on the reload and really just melt everything in our way but you don't have to use aggro scepter there's a lot of other options dead man's tail the new aga striga you can even put a glaive glaive does work when you use the uh r2 button the heavy um on the glaive or the volatile rounds yes they do work uh, but yeah, guys, this is a really awesome build. Uh, again, big shout out to Onion Knight as uh, really gave me the inspiration for this build. Uh, showed uh, me and the guys a uh, really awesome uh, build with Titans. So if you guys haven't checked his channel out, make sure you do that. Uh, but uh, oh, and also Pip, guys, make sure you guys go check out Pip. You know, that's a really great streamer over there. Um, met a lot of my friends over there. So big shout out to both of those guys uh, rocking and rolling over there and doing their thing. I support them fully. So you guys, go check them out and support them as well. But in the meantime, hit the like button, sub button, join button, and notifications on always. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Charlie Wee!